G'day, I'm Mark Berg, and welcome to another week of Fishing Addiction, the show that surprises fishers with incredible fishing adventures. This week, we've traveled all the way down to Tasmania, one of my favorite places on the planet. We're about to surprise a guy just outside of Hobart. We're gonna then fly him all the way up to Bundaberg, where we're gonna load my Sportsman 19 boat onto Big Cat Reality, the mothership, and we're gonna spend a whole week out on the Great Barrier Reef. He has no idea we're coming. It's going to be an amazing adventure. Let's go surprise our fish show. All right, number 20, this is it, this is it. Reese Walker, I'm coming for you, buddy. Oh, I don't even know, like he might be right there. So we'll just have to see what happens. Long driveway, it's obviously a rural property. Oh, there we go. Lucky we hired a full drive. Oh, there's a big bloody dog, too. There's a few dogs. Oh, there, yeah, there's people there. I'm just gonna... Hello, guys. Hello, where is he? Is he in there? In the shed? All right. Go. So where do I go? Just in the door? Just knock on it or just go in? Just go in. Hello. How you going? Hello. <laughs> How you going? You must be Reese. How you going, mate? Come on in, everybody. Come and stand over here, mate, because they're all wanting to see what's going on. Oh no, oh yes. <laughs> we got you, didn't we? Yeah, you got me. Yeah, no, you had no idea, right? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> you doing all right? Yeah, going good, mate. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, you've probably got a pretty good idea of why I'm here. I think so, yeah. <laughs> I love looking at his face. <laughs> no, Chantel, come over here. <laughs> Jump in here, mate. <laughs> She's been helping me like you wouldn't believe. Really? Yeah, she says she's been trying to avoid you this week because oh. you can tell when she's lying. <laughs> and uh, we've been speaking on the phone and all the rest of it. Yeah. And uh, mate, here we are. We're going to take you. I've spoken to your work, by the way. Oh, really? I've spoken to your boss. Yeah, I rang your boss and I said to him, you know who I am? He goes, I'll leave you in the water, mate. Of course I know who you are. <laughs> That was Lee? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're taking you on probably one of my favorite trips, all right? It's going to be unreal. We're going to fly you up to the Goldie, oh. jumping in the car with me. Yeah. We're towing my 19 foot sportsman. We're going to tow it up to Bundaberg. They're then loading that boat onto a mothership. We're then steaming 300 nautical miles out to sea, the Great Barrier Reef, wow. for about seven days. Oh, that's awesome. What do you reckon, guys? <laughs> yeah. Pretty good, eh? Yeah, yeah good. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, typical Aussie. Yeah, sounds good, eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah not bad, yeah, not bad, mate. Yeah, yeah, from Tassie, you know, I'm just really happy. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> really appreciate your outburst. Um, yeah. It's going to be incredible, mate. We're gonna, have you ever caught a giant trevally? No. Ha, 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 you're going to get smoked. <laughs> have you ever caught a uh, coral trout? No. No, right. Spanish mackerel? Ha, what have you caught? Trout? Yeah. Like Tassie trout? Trout. Brim. Brim, yeah, tuna, sharks. That's pretty much Tasmania, isn't it? That's basically. Pretty much Tasmania <laughs> covered. Well, mate, this one's gonna absolutely blow your mind. And then, of course, on top of that, actually, before I get to that, I've got to ask you, mate, how does it make you feel to see him get this opportunity? Uh, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, he loves his fishing so much, so it's definitely. What, why does he deserve yeah. to win? Like, we got that many members that probably think, well, why don't they pick me? Why, why do you reckon we should have picked him? Put you on the spot, no big, no yeah. pressure. <laughs> really on the spot. Um, to be honest, I just think that he's been working really hard at work. Like he's got a new job, and I think he really deserves it. Yeah, working hard at work—that's not enough he's of a like, reason. No, <laughs> new job. He's just a good guy. And... You guys have been yeah. together for a while. Yeah. How long? Nearly seven years. Are you married? No. What's wrong with you, mate? <laughs> <laughs> look at you and look at her. Oh, seriously, brother. Get your crap together. Anyway, well, don't forget, on top of this, you also have the Fishing Addiction Challenge, which I'm sure you've seen. Yeah. We don't know what that's going to be yet, but uh, if you can achieve it, you're going to win $5,000 worth of gear from Wilson 
and another $2,000 worth of fishing gear from my tackle store, Attic Tackle. So $7,000 on the line. I've always wanted to catch a GT, so yeah, that's gonna be the one for me, for sure. He watches these all the time, and he's always saying how much he'd love this opportunity, so. Yeah. But mate, uh, you are going to get absolutely worked over on some big fish. You've never been there before? No, no, never. Never been there? Never been there. Oh man, you're going to blow out. That's oh, going to be awesome. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> Excellent. Um, very quiet, but he's always the first to like lend a hand. He's always the first um, person to like that you could call and he's going to rush to help. Like he's going to rush to, you know, if you flat tire, he's going to be, he's going to be there in five minutes. Righto, Reese. now this trip is not for another two weeks. Yep. So you've got two weeks to dream about it. Get on the Big Cat website, have a look at all the photos and you'll understand exactly what you're in for. Yep. Um, and we're gonna fly up to the Goldie, but I'll send all the dates to you so you guys know exactly what's happening. You better get him organised. He doesn't know he's <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> getting sorted. Um, so mate, congratulations again, and I will see you in about two weeks time right. up on the Barrier Reef. Thank you very much. Thanks, family. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> For your chance to come on the show, you've got to be a Fishing Addiction member. You can travel to some of the best fishing destinations in Australia and the world. You also go in the draw for one of our incredible monthly prizes. Simply go to fishingaddiction.com.au and sign up today. Welcome to the show. Thanks, mate. And welcome to the Great Barrier Reef. Are you excited? Because I know I am. Very excited, mate. I'm pumped out of my brains, man. We're going to catch some great fish on the Sportsman, too. Now, before we get started, I've got a brand new pair of Smith sunglasses for you. Everyone that comes on the show gets a brand new pair of Smith. Try them on, mate. See what you think. Oh, baby. Yeah, they're good. He looks all right, doesn't <laughs> he? He looks pretty good. Uh, we haven't set your challenge yet. I've got to have a bit more of a think about it, talk to the crew. All right. But for now, how are you feeling? Like, what's going through your head? Yeah, I'm excited to start catching some fish. Yeah. Is there anything in particular that you really want to catch on this trip? Oh, uh, I think a big GT would be awesome. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> says they want to catch a big GT. I'm sure but we can arrange that. Maybe something out of the ordinary. Well, you've you not know. really caught trout before, no. or Spanish mackerel, and all that sort of stuff either. So everything is going to be first. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. Well, we got Reese from Tassie. We got the crew. We got Bergy. We got the sportsman. We're on Swain's Reef. Let's go fishing. Oh, that should be able to go straight down now. Fine. That's it, drop it again, do it again. Ah, oh, fine, that's it. Now fish on. Oh, as soon as I hit the bottom. What have we got for our first fish of the trip? We've got Red Throat Emperor. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> That's a nice one. We'll take him home. All the colours in there, would you? How red is that red? Very red. No, it's very red. <laughs> That's a very pretty fish. Happy days. Oh. So I actually have my light stick bait rod. I'm actually jigging with it because the leader's busted on the other one. I couldn't be bothered tying a new leader. Uh, it's doing the trick. Oh, shark on it, shark on it. Shark on it. Shark got it. Sharks. Oh yeah, you got him. Pump up, yep, good on. No, no slack line when you drop your rod tip. Wine before it comes up. That's good, nice and easy. Good, nice fish. Good bend in the rod there. Good 
Good bait. First fish, Trouty. All right, just gonna swing around this way. Don't lift him out of the water, swing him around to me. <laughs> How's that thing for your first fish? Woohoo! What a lovely looking fish that is. Mate, have you ever eaten trout? No, never. <laughs> One of the tastiest fish you'll ever find in the sea, mate. That is so cool. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Right. Excellent. Could be a mackerel, I would call a fork. And it could be over very quickly. Right through that. It's come to the surface. What a hit! Oh. Wow. Was not expecting that, Riso. Woohoohoo! Ah, oh, dropped him. I reckon I've still got my jig, but I reckon the, uh, the hook's gone. Nah, still got it. Oh, yeah. Mackerel. Oh, you can see the mackerel uh, bites in that. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> yes. Nice. Another nice fish. What have we got? Another trouty? Wow, look at the colours on it. Oh, coronation trout. Wow, look at that for colour. Holy smokes, it doesn't get more beautiful than that, does it? Have you ever seen anything like that? No. Look at that thing. Man, I mean, I, I, I'm sorry, I can't kill it. I can't, I can't. It's too beautiful, I'm not killing it. It's going back in the water 100%. That's a good fish. Yeah, Reesey, baby. That's what we come for, mate. Careful of that loose line. That's good. Good angling. What have we got? What have we got? Oh, big trout. Oh, oh look at that. That is what you call a trout. Woohoohoo! Great fish. What are your thoughts on that, mate? Yeah. You just stand there with a big, big <laughs> smile on your face. <laughs> That's a cracker. That's Very what we've come for. That's a big trout, man. Perfect. Any bigger than that, you start worrying about Cicatera a little bit, but that's the perfect size. You've got to get a photo of this one. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Lovely colours. And fought like a horse on the way up. So. Man, did it go hard? It's awesome. Yeah. Mate, before we continue our slaughter, <laughs> we're killing it, mate. All no, right. It's time to set the fishing addiction challenge. Of course, you've seen the show. You know how it works. We have five thousand dollars worth of fishing gear from our very good friends at Wilson up for grabs for you. Uh, we love Wilson. They do a great job and they really look after the show. So we ask our viewers to support the sponsors that support the show. So five grand from Wilson and two thousand dollars from AddictTackle.com.au. So that's seven thousand bucks worth of gear up for grabs and have a look at that how beautiful is it pretty good i thought i'd just chuck that in just over here that is so nice uh, okay this is what you need to do it's one of our traditional challenges we this started it all 15 species 15 you've seen that before haven't you i've seen that many times <laughs> bit of a twist in there though 15 different species of fish uh and two conditions one one of them has to be a giant trevally over 20 kilos now the swains is known for lots of gts a lot of them are around that 15 to 20. You do get them over. Of yeah. course, you get them 30, 40 kilos. But the challenge is going to be one over 20. Yeah. And I think that's the fish you want to catch anyway, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be awesome. The dream fish, man. Definitely. I want to see that bag of cement in your arms, brother. And the other condition is that each fish that comes over the side of the boat, it's my call whether or not I think it's decent enough. If it's only a small one, like we caught a couple of little trout like that today, yeah. we, wouldn't, we wouldn't count them. But that big trout you got, I mean, that's a real one, right? That's a good one. That's a good one. So you've caught two different trout so far. A coronation, beautiful fish. We let that one go. Yep. And that beautiful big trout. 
So you're two species off so far. That's pretty good. Not, not a bad start. It's all right. this is, we've only been fishing for two hours. Yeah. Uh, so you've got 13 species to go. One of them a GT over 20 kilos. Are you up for it? Definitely. It's from Tassie, I don't know. You reckon he's up for it? I reckon he's up for it. Good luck, my friend. We're going to do everything in our power to get you these fish. Thank you. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm excited. Now the monkey's off your back as well. You've caught a fish, you got a vibe, feel of the boat. You're just a bunch of idiots going fishing. We're going to have some fun, yeah? That's right. Let's go fishing. All right, 15 species, baby. Oh, bait. A long time jumped out of the water. Oh, big GT, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Still there? Oh, he got into the boat. <laughs> Mate, he just ran out. He just ran out of room. He did, yeah. Tried to eat it at the boat. Do that again, eh? How was that, Reese? <laughs> All right. Well, normally what happens in that situation, if you're on a spot and they've come up a couple of times, they'll then just go back down and sulk, and you're pretty much done your dash. Yeah. So we'll come back off this uh, reef and we'll do some bottom bashing through here, eh? Sounds good. All right, mate. One of the biggest challenges in landing fish on the Grape Area Reef at times is avoiding the sharks. So, after getting our lures and fish consistently chomped by a pack of sharks, we decided to pack up our gear and head to the shallows. Let it sink a little bit, maybe count to five to ten max. If you're casting it near a bommy, you just gotta obviously pull it straight in. So you see this bommy here? Get this line, cast up the line of it if you can. It's a long time. Oh dear. Hooked him in the bum. Leave him in the water. Do not lift him. Just hold him right there. Ah, drop your rod tip a little bit. These are one of, this is a, a fish that will actually try and bite you. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's already having a having a think about it. Look at him biting his own tail. <laughs> You're not gonna bite me, mister. He's trying to. Those teeth are razor sharp. Alrighty, buddy. Thanks for that. See you later. Whee! You gonna let go of your tail? He's still holding onto his tail. He'll wake up in a minute. <coughs> there he goes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Fish on. Up him. Yes, nice work. On the flats. Phew! What have you got? It's a nice trout. Nice trout. Probably not going to have a look. How much fun is that? In literally, what's that, a metre of water yeah, up there? About a metre, yeah. You can see that Venom V swim. 120 mil, that one. Very, very good for the flats. Dude, they don't muck around, do they? They <laughs> <laughs> smashed it. I've missed two in a row now. Yeah. Look at the difference in colour. Yeah. Great table fish, that's a perfect size. You're coming home for dinner, mate. Good. Yeah, oh, got him. Got him. Yeah, it doesn't even know he's hooked yet. No slack line. He's gonna take off in a second. What have you got? Oh, no way. Bring it around here. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, football of trout. Football of trout. Have a go at that thing. You are kidding me, mate. Reese. <laughs> that is a cool fish, man. Look at that. That's another, I'm gonna count that as another species for sure. So if you knock off the long tom, and this guy, different kind of trout, that's four. Four on day one, I think I've made this way too easy. Have a go at the size of the lure, the V-swim that, it, that it's eaten. Isn't that incredible? Not scared to eat a big, a big bait. We've still got four full days of fishing, my friend. Yeah. We've got so much in front of us and you've already knocked off four. I know it's gonna be controversial because this is, it's a trout. Nah, yeah, no, nah, we'll count it. We have to, it's such a cool fish. I can't, <laughs> I can't help myself. Yeah. 
For your chance to come on the show, you've got to be a Fishing Addiction member. You could travel to some of the best fishing destinations in Australia and the world, including Vanuatu, New Zealand, far north Queensland, the Northern Territory and Western Australia, just to name a few. You also go in the draw for one of our incredible monthly prizes, just like this beautiful 17-foot Sportsman Reef. Simply go to fishingaddiction.com.au and sign up today. Well, mate, it's day two. It is. Four species off the list already. Today, though, there's uh, this first tide, there's only 600 mil difference in the tide. So it's a, not a lot of run, which is not a good thing. As the week goes on, the run will increase. So in terms of, in terms of pelagic activity, I don't think it's going to be amazing. So I think what we should probably focus on is maybe um, some more reef species. Yeah. A bit more bottom bashing. We'll see if we can find something out the front some drop-offs and pinnacles and that sort of thing, do a bit of jigging and um, soft baiting, stuff like that. Yep. Sound all right? Sounds good, mate. Anything sounds good to you right it now, does. doesn't it? It's great. Yeah, do you have a good sleep? Big cat? Yeah, pretty good. Not too bad? Not too bad. Very good, mate. All right, it's a new day. Lots of fish to catch. As long as you don't catch one bigger than me, we're all good. All good. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, mate. Cheers. All the best. Let's go fishing. Very cool. Oh, it's so nice. Sun's out, gun's out, let's go. It's really comfortable in here. Is there? Around the oh, other side. Yeah, oh yeah, fish, fish on. on. There's a trouty. Get him out, mate. Woo! Had to be oh, good fish too. Oh, yes. Lovely. Lovely. Okay. Oh yes, that's a beautiful trout in the shallows. Look at that thing. Absolutely magnificent fish. That V-swim's got another one. But that's a perfect eating size coral trout. And they just love these small stick baits, these V-swims. Perfect. Hey, settle down big fella. Very nice mate, well done. Thank you. Good start to the day. Very good. Really important when you're fishing the flats like this, cast up on top, right up on top of the shallow stuff, obviously you need to start retrieving straight away, especially if you've got a sinking lure. But if you're on the edges like we are right now, you really wanna make sure that your lure sinks. Now I'm using one of our handmade lures, a chode. If you have a look in the water there, you can see it, I'll just plop it in, you'll see it'll just slowly sink down. Perfectly straight and sinks down. So you wanna let them sink down because these fish will sit up under these edges when that lure sinks down, then they'll see it, start to retrieve and they'll come darting out and try and eat it. It's a great way to catch fish and it's a great way to lose, lose lots of lures as well. <laughs> but if you're lucky enough, you might pull out a couple of good ones. Oh, got a bump. Got him. Oh, I just skull drag him out. Yes. Ah. Beautiful, another one. The chode strikes again. <laughs> Love it, that's a legal size fish too. Beautiful, hey, hold still buddy. That single hook in these make them real easy to get out. Nice little fish. We're still quite a few days out from the new moon. So 600 mil of tide out here is virtually nothing. And the old saying, no run, no fun. So what we're relying on now is these resonant trout that just live in these reefs anyway. And yeah, hopefully we can pull a few out. But in terms of other species, they're probably deep. And as the week goes on and the wind drops, we'll be able to get right out the front and do some jigging and find some other species, but I would have thought for sure we would have seen some spangled emperor in here, red throat. Oh, oh big one on it. Huge, huge, ridiculous. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that was insane. That was another monstrous, monstrous trout. I don't know if the camera captured that, but uh, 
Wow, there's just no way I was gonna stop that fish. He came right out in the open too, so I thought for sure I'd had a chance on him, but uh, it was over, lickety split. Oh, yep. Oh, right on the other side of the reef. Oh, come on. Yeah, I think I got him. Oh, get out of that. Yeah, I got him. Oh, heart and mouth every time. Beautiful trout. Perfect eating size. Finally made it down to the bottom part of this reef and it is just on like Donkey Kong. It's perfect little trout, great table size. He's coming home. On it, on it, oh, yep. On. Oh, a nice trout and there's a friend behind him. Look at all the fish in there. Oh, <laughs> look at that one. You got two. You had two trout on at one time. <laughs> That's nuts. Impressive. <laughs> you had two trout on, my friend. <laughs> oh, look at that beautiful colour. Woo hoo hoo. Oh, I never get sick of this. This is the best, best fun on these flats. Very, very nice fish. And those V swims are killing it. Oh, yes. Yeah, good fish. Oh, you are not going anywhere, mister. I got him. Oh, not screwed. Oh, cracking trout. Oh, that was sick. Oh, come back. Oh, not done yet. Oh, he's a cracker. All right, I should be able to lift him in. Two, three, up. Oh, yes. That's the one we're after. You're very lucky if the lure's in the middle of the lagoon and they come off a bommy, that's what you want. Because if this guy was any closer to that bommy, there is just no way I would have been able to get him out. Very powerful fish. You see that big tail on him? That's a cracker. And that is what the Great Barrier Reef is all about. Yep, on, fish on, oh, get out. Oh, dude, he's gone under. Get him out. Oh, I saw the bomb and he went straight under. Oh, he's in there. The free sport's a big trout. Oh, could be another lost lure here. Has he? Oh. Oh. oh, big trout. Big trout. Oh, there's two. Two. Two trout. Oh, that's awesome. A big one and a little one. Oh, geez, that's a horse. Oh. Yeah, that's not something you see every day. I should be hitting the gym, Reese, before these trips. Two trout on the one lure, but that little one, he's very small and I want him back in the water. Yeah, happy days. Such a challenge in the, uh, in the shallows, unlike here. No run, no fun. Oh, there's a nice big trevally right there. There's a GT. Oh dear, I'm in big trouble. If he eats it, I'm in big trouble. Oh, is it GT? No, it's a shark. No, it's a shark, mate. 100%. Oh, look at this thing. What the hell's that? What is that? Oh no, oh no, what is that? That's a big GT. Oh, that is a huge GT. Oh dear. Oh, that, this is not good. Oh, there's another one there too. Oh, this is not good. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Fairly open here. Oh dear. Oh, come on. No, no, no. Oh, I dare not put any more drag pressure on it. Come on. 
we go. Okay, I need to draw. You want to follow him? Just move so I can see. He's going that way, we might be okay. There he is. Yeah. And there's his mate behind us. <laughs> oh, this is a big fish, man. He's going nuts. Yeah. Can you um, firstly, we all get the mink coder up? Oh. It's off. Oh no, the bobby there, come away. He's fully turning the boat. <laughs> all right, but watch that rod there. I've got to come over. Hang on, he might come back. Oh, I just feel the hook pull. No. Oh, come on, dude. There's a shark. Uh, shark won't affect him, he's too big. <laughs> oh, he's starting to tire now. So am I though. Uh, bring him around this way. Oh, come here big fella. Right, Reese, go up the front. Not yet. Oh mate, give me that tail. Oh, nearly. Yeah. Oh, come back. Oh, nearly. Got me. Okay. One more time. It's a nano. Chin gaffing. Sit down. Chuck us a gaff. Chin gaffing. What do you think about that, mate? It's a big fish. Oh. Swim. Got tested to its absolute limits. It is not made for 25 kilo GTs in the shallows, but we got him. Oh, oh God, that's a big fish. Holy smokes, that's a big trevally in. Oh, we started off in probably four meters of water and we finished off and we're in about 12 here. Bommies all around us, very, very lucky capture. That's a very solid fish, he's well over 20 kilos. Oh man, there's a big fish on like here. It gives you hope, doesn't it? It does, lots of hope. Mate, yeah. you're next brother. It just happened to eat my lure, not yours. That's right. Uh, yeah, mother. Oh. That was a long fight, he's pretty tired. He'll come good. There he swims, beautiful, there he goes. Oh. Oh. See you buddy. For your chance to come on the show, you've got to be a Fishing Addiction member. You can travel to some of the best fishing destinations in Australia and the world. You also go in the draw for one of our incredible monthly prizes. Simply go to fishingaddiction.com.au and sign up today. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 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 little GT. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Yeah, now you're smoking. Oh, he's on a thick GT. Got him, wine, 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 wine. Yeah, you got him. All right. Hold on, I'm going to take you out. You're slow, you just take your time. It's all good. Yeah. 
keep the whining, just keep that pressure on. He's gonna shake his head and carry on like a pork chop. So it's whole back come out of the water. Is it a good one? Yeah. Yeah, he's just underneath us there. We're yeah. gonna just keep heading out in this direction. You just keep fighting him, mate. Yeah. Get him. What's he doing? Is that a little one? Looks okay. Jesus, but he's not doing anything. Nah. Give him a pump up and whine, see what he does. <laughs> yeah, he's a puppy, I think. He's better than I thought. Oh. Yeah, he's a decent fish. Nothing wrong with that. Yes. Don't want to yeah. back the drag off any. No, 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 Pretty no. Pretty tight. No, I need to do anything. All right. You're doing, you're doing great. If he's yeah. ready to go, you, do you feel like he's going to pull the rod out of your hands? Uh, yeah, if he tries to. Okay, well, uh, that's what a tight drag is. You hang yeah. on to that bloody rod, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's there. just woken up. There we go. I knew we hadn't played yet. Yeah, you got a bit more work to do yet, yeah, mate. Yeah. No slack line. Oh, shark on him, is it? Yeah. That's all right. That's a decent shark. Dave, you need to move. Bring him back around this side. And get him away from the shark. Oh, no, he's a good fish. Okay, I'm going to use the gaff on him. His chin. He's green. He's going to come where your feet are, Will. One, three, spool. Yep. Two, three. Oh. Oh. Yes! What a fish! <laughs> what a cracker! Holy smokes! That is a cracking fish. Come down here, my friend. <laughs> Give it some, yes. buddy. That's what you've come for. That's what we came for. Mate, that fish, honestly, did not fight. No. For a GT, that was enough. Mind you, I did have what we call bergy drag <laughs> on that one. <laughs> so Boring what I get you to do is just to uh, hold his tail. Yep. Don't lift him off, just hold his tail. I'm going to try and get these hooks out without getting smashed. Okay. All right, we need to flip him. Oh, no, actually don't. You're off. Right, just let him go. Hooks are out. There you go. There's that V-stick. There's not many stick baits you can pull out of the pack. And the hooks are good and the rings are good. You don't have to do anything to them and they catch big fish. Yeah, seeing that GT come out of the water, take lure, just awesome. Yeah. Just instant power, straight on. You just you can't give them anything. They give you nothing at all. So and then to get it to the boat, land it, you know, just a bonus. All right, put your arms out like you're about to cradle a baby. I'm gonna dump him on you. <laughs> Look at that fish! Now, mate, part of your challenge is to catch a GT over 20 kilos. Yeah. It's close, but it's not there. All I'm right. gonna call this fish for about 17, 18 kilos. Very close, though. It's yeah. got girth, but it's just not quite the 20 kilos. But the good thing is, this is day two. It is. And that was our first go at trying to catch GTs today. So, is that the biggest fish you've ever caught, apart from a Mako? Yeah. Up there? It's up there. Yeah. <laughs> How'd it feel when you hooked him up? Oh, just, yeah. Instant, you know, power just on the end They're of the so rod. so strong, man. Very strong. Very yeah. strong fish. Wow, what a spot. What a place. Sensational. Good on you, champion. Wasn't quite the... 20 kilo I required, but a good start. Good indication of what I'm going to be in for. All right, mate, just spear him straight in head first. Whew, away he goes. It go gets on. that oxygen through his gills and he's gone. That was sick. Very good, good job, my friend. Do you want to do it again? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Let's Try go do that again. <laughs> I think it's going awesome so far. We've been really lucky with the weather. Uh, it's good that Bergie brought his boat along. I think it's sort of helped us get to a few extra spots. Big cat, the boat, fantastic. The crew are great. The other people on there are great. Yeah, food's great. It's awesome. What was the highlight for you today, you reckon? Uh, catching the GT, I think. I thought you'd say <laughs> that. Just yeah. to see its shoulders come out of the water yeah. and eat it. Yeah. It doesn't get much better than that, doesn't, does it? No. Visual fishing is where it's at, I think. And yeah. coming to a place like this, that's what it's all about. And mate, we've got so much more in front of us. And that also brings us to the end of part one of our adventure with Big Cat. 
here on the Great Barrier Reef and of course with our fishing addiction member, Reese. Now, here's a sneak peek of what we've got in store for you next week. Oh, sorry for the chaos, folks. Driving boat, landing fish, shallow water. How good is that? Now, that's a big fish, bro. I do not think that I could uh, deny you that fish. A bit bigger than the one yesterday. He's definitely bigger. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, oh, bro. No. Sorry, bro. I don't know why I'm catching him and you're not. Yay! Finally! Go. A species! Thank you! <laughs> so that's all next week with this bloke. Hopefully he can win the challenge. You reckon you're going to do it? Hope so, mate. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and now remember, if you're not a member and you would like to be, you can just go to fishingaddiction.com.au and sign up, just like this bloke did. You could win an amazing fishing adventure, huge monthly giveaways like cars and boats and all sorts of cool stuff. Again, just go to the website, check it out, fishingaddiction.com.au. And, of course, special thanks to Big Cat for hosting us out here. But next week, tune in for part two. Until then, I'm Mark Berg. He's Reese Walker. You stay safe and God bless. From Tasmania to the Great Barrier Reef, I love it. <laughs> this is what we've come for. This is the exciting part. Oh, it's a shark. Are you kidding me? Since when do sharks take stick baits in 10 metres of water? That is such an anti-climax. <laughs>